Today, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful people, I'm going to play with WZ113GFT, tier 10 Chinese heavy tank, which uh, I'm not going to say I hated at first. I simply couldn't give less Fs about this tank. When they introduced this tank, in my opinion, it was the most boring tech tree line they ever introduced. It didn't offer anything new, anything special. And when I grinded this tank out, when I finished the grind, I researched this tank and I believe it was sitting on my account without any battles for over a year. All right. But roughly six months ago, Wargaming went ahead and they buffed this tank. They buffed the engine power. They buffed the top speed. They buffed shell velocity from 760, which was absolutely horrible, up to 960 on the AP round. They buffed DPM and they buffed accuracy. After all those things, guys, I don't know. I, I don't believe what I'm about to say. I'm slowly starting to love this tank. And today we're going to play with it. And guys, you really want to see the first battle. I'm going to play two battles live. The first one, guys, is going to be mwah, simply magnifico. Simply magnifico. So enjoy that, I'm going to say ahead, right? So basically what Wargaming did, uh, for me personally, maybe for you it still sucks, but I am slowly starting to love it. From absolute third tier to a lovable tank tier for me because now after all those buffs guys i can play this tank quite aggressively and if needed i can even sit back and snipe depends on the gameplay situation but i prefer to play it more aggressively just face up close and personal to slap some tanks left right and center and this is how my uh, wz 113 g looks like equipment wise rammer improved aiming and turbo you know i'm fast mobile with this turbo over here improved aiming gives me the flexibility to snipe as well and also the rammer well that is self-explanatory right explaining itself um it uh, simply gives me more dpm right i can slap targets more often and as far as directives go i'm actually using combat course uh, which is going to improve my tank traverse speed just helps to uh, me to be more mobile and uh, i do not have this uh, crew skill on my crew members because as you can see my crew is not the best um, those guys have uh, three skills maxed out and fourth one is coming in but uh, the off-road driving and uh, smooth ride um, those guys those things i want to take because you know we're moving around we take uh, some shots on the move and uh, we just want our aiming circle to be a little bit smaller well to have view range uh, recon and situational awareness on your commander together with brothers in arms this is also quite a standard one as far as field mods goes uh, uh, this is no-brainer for basically every single tank destroyer it is just too good uh, not to take uh, then this one is accuracy over here. This is no-brainer as well. This absolutely changes nothing guys You can see like from 3.7% after shooting camo up to 4.17 you, you you never feel this you never feel this. I never picked this honestly never maybe Argue like we can have a little argument over here on e25 or or 0.01% of tanks, but Usually this is absolutely useless. Over here, I want to slap tanks more often, so reload time, yeah, aggressive, losing some hit points, losing some crew protection, but guys, if I can kill them faster, it doesn't matter, right? And from the final field mode, I'm not going to pick anything, because, uh, yes, extra reverse speed would be nice, but I do not want to lose suspension repair speed and engine power, and if we look on the other side, yes, suspension power, uh, sorry, suspension repair speed and engine power would be nice, but I do not want to lose reverse speed, so I'm simply not going to pick anything. And uh, this is the version of WZ which I like, and which I am starting to slowly love actually guys uh, so 3.6k dpm 0.29 accuracy minus six degrees of gun depression mobility wise 45 top speed 19 reverse speed very nice numbers over here 16.79 specific power uh, view range uh, over 445 meters is where we want to be now is the armor working eh, guys i would honestly say if i'm completely honest over here i'm never counting on my armor actually i'm never counting on my armor uh if i go in i'm ready to simply trade my shot and i hope that i have bigger caliber i can deal more alpha damage with a single shot than simply pull back because usually especially in tier 10 games 
if they want to penetrate you, they are going to penetrate you. Occasionally some bounces happen here and there if you're hull down, if you hide their lower plate. But uh, the heat simply goes through the upper area very, very easily. And it is big, flat target to shoot. The sides are weak as well. So armor-wise, not the greatest. But um, hopefully we can simply destroy them faster than they can shoot at us, right? So now, enjoy some beautiful battles which I have for you today. You're going to love those. And first up, we have a coast town with uh, how many lightings? One lighting. One lighting and DVR is going in. Okay, so the plan is simple, guys. At first, I'm going to stop over here behind this bush and I am going to snipe into whatever our beautiful light tank is going to spot without dying, hopefully. Now, usually... Okay, if you do not drive into the bushes or in the bushes, that could end up very badly. Oh, hello, first victim and boom. Beautiful. 699. You never, simply never stop out in the open like that, guys. This is the encounter battle on Coast Down. And uh, both teams start, you know, very openly. And if light tank spot... If light tank spot stuff, then it is very, very not uh, good and very bad. Very, very not bueno. Okay, we need to go. We need to go away from here because our... Uh, EBR is going to a completely different flank. That Waffle actually... That Waffle actually might spot something, but that Waffle also could get spotted by EBR who is in those bushes over here. You know what? Yeah, it's... It's it's bad, guys. It is bad. I'm going to take one blind shot over there. And I'm actually going to pull back. I'm not going to fully pull back. I'm actually going to use this... Dead Leopard has a little cover over here. I'm going to use this. Oh my god. Like no light tank over here. Our... Guys. Do yourself a favor and don't look at the minimap, okay? Don't look at the minimap. Where our light tank is right now. Oh, there is Minotaur. Oh, hello Minotaur. I'm actually going to load in heat. Okay, because uh, with AP, I only have to hit the lowest part of the tank. Cobra over there as well. Yacht Tiger. Let's make it fully aimed in. Nice. Alright, Cobra on my right. Who was actually able to penetrate me into this side, into the ass, somewhere over there. Okay, well, enemy EBR is cleaning up stuff over here. Our EBR seems like he's going in, right? It's going in. Is this guy going in guns blazing? Let's see. Yep, guns are blazing, guys. So, be ready. Be ready. I would load in HE, but just in case I'm not going to load HE. Just in case that Cobra gets spotted, for example. Wow. And he drives in from this side as well. That guy's dead. That guy is so dead. Yeah, well, this, uh, I would say it's a, it's a difference of light tanks over here. It is a pure difference of light tanks. Uh, I can uh, I can still give that Minotaur a spotted over here while this guy cannot do much against me, right? And now, I'm pretty sure I am uh, perma spotted, guys. I'm pretty sure I have always been spotted for the enemy team. Pretty damn sure. Okay, so, uh, what to do? Like, where could this guy be? Let's see. Oh. Randomly. Randomly duke the shot. Minotaur is dead as well. 3,390 assistance. Let's pull back. Let's pull back. And... Maybe let's try... Over here. Okay, both my high explosive rounds have been used. And now I'm simply going to move away. Now let's try to deal with T-95 and uh, with the heavy tanks from this angle. Man, I just love this tank now. Like, it's... It's crazy. As I said, uh, actually, like, the most boring tank in the game, EBR is still over here, was turned into very, very fun. Uh, nope. Nopers. Nopers, nopers, nopers. I'm actually going to pull back. And I'm going to pull back over here. But we can't be over there either, actually, because AMX-30 might punish us. I do not want to fight with uh, D95. I just don't. 
Okay, I got spotted again. That is EBR. Right. I'm going to uh, chill over here until I'm not spotted anymore. I need to be held down to have at least a chance to bounce something. At least a chance. If he has two kills, right? Nah, unluck. Unfortunate. Well, APCR on uh, D95 means this guy doesn't even need to aim, basically. Means that this guy does not even need to aim, basically. Nice. M60 is able to take out the MX 30B. There is that thing. There is a bloody FE, guys. Oh no. Oh no. Nice. Fast enough. Both FEs are over there. What the hell is this game? No okay. game. Let's go here. I'm going to say I will help you. M60 has nice TPM. This guy should have been able to take out 30B faster before. Nice! Helped you at least with that guy. And Effie missed. Ooh, did you see that, guys? Effie actually missed and almost hit me. Now M60 should know that those guys have massive reload time. Boom, there is one. Come on, please take the second one as well. Please get the second one as well. And there is that uh, EBR who played the bush over here. He spotted me, right? Yeah, he spotted me. Nice. Good cleanup. Good cleanup. Good cleanup by... Um, our M60. Very nice. I'm actually going over here now. I can take one more shot. I can take one shot. I can survive one shot, but I do not want to. So I'm... I try to... Hello? What the hell? What the hell? Where the hell did you go? Please say you got spotted and now you're coming over here. Okay, shh, shh, we can do it. We can do it. Where is Young Tiger? Where the hell is Young Tiger? There's Type 61. Oh, Pachki! Nice, very nice. Hide, 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 hide. Hide, hide, hide. Wow, he didn't find an angle. We wiggled, we wiggled, wiggled hard enough so this guy did not find an angle. Nice! What a first battle, guys. What a first battle. Let's go. We're still behind with hit points. <coughs> they, st they still have full HP Arc Tiger alive. And we have found the guy. Under the turret. My guess is that this EBR is just trying to get behind me, right? Oh, there's Arty. There's Arty. Whew! Okay, Type 61, I can survive Type 61. I think I'm going to take out Arty. Okay. Said and done. M60 after EBR. Beautiful. Beautiful, guys. We doing it! We doing it! Okay, I'm going for a flank. Type, please do not spot me. Please do not spot me. I'm going for a flank. This guy has no time to react. Definitely not. Boom. Man, that EBR is gaming harder than I ever expected. M60 actually didn't get the guy. Oh, oh, oh. I can, I can shoot him from here. We have a hole. We have a hole. 
Can I get holy one? <gasps> Guys! First battle! 10k combined! Oh my lord! This is going to be a huge daily double. You know what? Do you even want to chase that guy? Because this guy... Yeah, this guy is my Radley Walters, guys. That EBR is my Radley Walters. Potential Radley Walters. But... I'm happy surviving. I would actually like to survive. That could be a nice ace tanker. Beautiful. We have over 10,000 combined because that was 700 damage worth of a uh, blind shot. Okay, we are not getting spotted over here. Well, EBR doesn't have the best view range either. He might pop up from somewhere over here. That's my plan. Like, I'm, you know, slowly... Please come here. Please come here. Woo! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Oh, yes! Please! What is this? What do we have over here, guys? What do we have over here? Is that the little 8,300 damage? I think it is. I think it is. Very, very nice. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I, I'm going to apply this. I am going to apply this right over here, right now. First win. Eight kills. 1 1.5. 1,555 base XP is actually not uh, bad, guys, uh, in a tier 9 battle. Uh, because, uh, you know, shooting lower tiers. How many lower tiers did we shoot? Um, that's a tier 10. That's a tier 10. Tier 10. Tier 10. Tier 9. 9. 9. 9. Nine, 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 nine. Yeah, rest are, rest are tier 9s. And that was the blind shot, 712. Uh, so overall, it was 11,744. Quick math, 11,744 combined. I take it, guys. It can only go downhill from here. So let's simply jump into another one. And now we have full tier 10 battle on where? On Tundra. Standard battle. No artillery, nice two light tanks, tank destroyers, plenty of them, plenty of heavy tanks as well, plenty of hit points, over 30,000 hit points actually, over 31,000 hit points on the enemy team. And you know what? I'm actually going to start from the middle. I'm actually going to start from the middle and I might, guys, I might push, I might push. I might do something foolish, something aggressive, as I always like to do, being foolish, being aggressive. I might uh, want to push that, if we win the hill. Winning the hill is the criteria for that. Okay. Waiting. Nice. Nice. That is that buffed shell velocity, guys. That was actually that buffed shell velocity. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, Effie, 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 Effie. Wait! You just couldn't wait for a little... No spotty, no spotty, spotty. Ah, he spotted me. He didn't spot me at first, but he spotted me now. That guy is booming and zooming YouTube. Did you see that? Simply going in. Manti is here now. I could push forward. Holy. That's the full platoon, right? Yeah, that's the full platoon, guys. How the hell do we deal with those guys now? What is the best place? Where is the best place to deal with it? Maybe one shot. Terrible shot. Terrible shot. But we get another chance. To make things right. Actually, that was terrible shot. Light tank, Minotauro, Bonzer 7. Let's take out Light tank, Bonzer 7 is coming in. Alright. Beautiful. Minotauro is coming in as well. Okay. 
Okay. Effie, by the way, was still behind us. Where is the Minotauro now? Minotauro is over here now. If you come out to take another... If you come out to take another shot into me, you are not going to enjoy it, is what I wanted to say there. Quick shot in, and let's pull back. That increased mobility, you know. Powered weight ratio and everything. That is just so beautiful. And this is where this tank shines, I would say. This right here is where this tank shines. Quick in, quick out. Like compared to the previous version, right? Now you have better gun, better DPM, better gun handling, better everything. Alright. Um, that guy dead. I'm simply going to cross the bridge. I think I'm simply going to cross the bridge. Guys, we z 113 GFT. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below because this is going to be my video today. Crazy action. Well, you know, this battle, not the craziest action, but still enjoyed this battle as well. Manticore spot that Grilla, who is somewhere over there, maybe. Maybe repositioned, I don't know. But yeah, let me know, have you tried it out now? This is the tank which I skipped, legitimately skipped, avoided playing with for the longest time. Because it simply didn't introduce anything new. This this deck three line was the most boring deck three line in the game. Too bad I didn't hit that shot. I went with it because I thought, you know, I want to, I wanted to be greedy, okay? I'm going to say it out loud. Ay ay ay, I wanted to be greedy. But it is what it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. We said Kind of my new love, guys. Actually, kind of my new love. Unbelievable. From absolute turd into love. Have a good one. Enjoy your weekend. Much love. Take care and bye.